Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw stealth reflex from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, Sharpie, or crayon. Now, first of all, I'm gonna draw his cap with a curve line across right there. And from the side, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line downwards and on the right side as well same as you can turn at that corner and on the left side a curve line across in the middle point right there from the left to the right and above that i'm gonna draw his hoodie with a diagonal curve line from the side of the cap to the middle point above same as you can turn at the tip above and mirror the same diagonal curve line downwards to the corner on the right. Below the cap, I'm gonna continue the line of the hoodie at the side here downwards and on the right side as well. And below that, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line from the side to the middle point and slightly upwards. Turn it back down and mirror the same curve line across to the right side. From the ending point at the side, I'm gonna make a turn downwards and turn it slightly inwards to the middle point. And at the chin right there, I'm gonna draw a, an upside down V shape. And from the side, a curve line down on both the left and right. And below that, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape for the zipper. And at the lower corner inside of that rectangular shape i'm gonna draw another smaller rectangular shape right there now for his mask i'm gonna draw a circular shape for the opening of his eye turn it upwards at the side right there and inside of that i'm gonna draw his eye with a diagonal curve line for his eyebrow at the top portion right there and for his eye i'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line from the outer corner to the middle point and for the lower line of his eye i'm gonna draw across the curve line to the inner corner in the middle point and turn it upwards inside of the eye i'm gonna draw a circular shape for his pupil and I'm gonna copy the same shape on the right side as well. Now for the headphones at the side, I'm gonna draw a line downwards at the side of his face, turn it sideways outwards at this lower point, diagonal turn upwards and turn it up. Same as you could turn inwards to the right and from the same point again I'm gonna draw a line sideways. Same as you could turn again and turn it upwards at that point. At the side of that I'm gonna draw another line downwards right there and at the side of this section right here i'm gonna draw a diagonal line out and turn it upwards same as you could turn at the top point and sideways and at the outer corner of the headphone i'm gonna draw a semicircle line across right there now for the top part of the headphone i'm gonna draw at the side here a curved line diagonally down curved line across and turn it upwards Above that, I'm going to draw across a line and from both ending point of that line, I'm going to draw a semicircle line across to the top right there and at the middle point of that section, I'm going to draw a line down at the side, semicircle line across on both the upper point and the lower point and turn it down on the right side and I'm going to copy the whole shape of the headphone on the right side as well and I'm gonna extend each of the lines right here and 
on the right side as well now below the headphone on the left I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line slightly inwards and turn it downwards and on the right side a diagonal line to the right and down now for the piece of strap across his body I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape on the right side here and I'm gonna leave a gap at this lower left corner and at that gap I'm gonna draw a circular shape right there and another one inside of that at the upper point inside of that rectangular shape I'm gonna draw another smaller one and at the side on the left I'm gonna copy this line along the side with that circular shape and at the bottom point right here as well now from the ending point I'm gonna draw a line up and I'm gonna do the same thing for this ending point and for this corner and for this corner of the circular shape at the side of that piece I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at the side there and another one at this lower point coming out from this upper point I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line right there and a similar one at the outer corner at the ending point I'm gonna draw across a diagonal line turn it downwards and another diagonal line across turn it downwards at the corner sharp turn back in same as a good turn back across and slide it downwards at that point and turn it sideways diagonally and turn it down and going back to this strap in the middle I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line across to the left rectangular shape at that corner right there continue the line of the strap across another rectangular shape at that corner continue the line of the strap and at that point I'm going to draw a rectangular shape and from the upper left corner of that rectangular shape I'm going to draw a diagonal line to the side and I'm going to do the same thing for this corner and this corner as well a line across at this point and a diagonally and a diagonal line upwards for that corner right there inside of that pouch I'm going to draw four smaller rectangular shape at this corner right there and for his vest in the middle point here I'm gonna draw a line across turn it upwards on the left side same as a good turn to the right to the base of his neck slightly above that point I'm gonna draw across the curve line same as a good turn downwards at that point turn it slightly inwards diagonally with a curve line and turn it downwards all the way to the pouch at the side and at this corner right here I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape and inside of that I'm gonna draw crisscross line copy that same shape at this lower point and in between those two shapes I'm gonna draw a line at the side downwards and another one on the right side and I'm gonna copy that same set of shape on the right side right here as well from the side of that shape at this middle point I'm gonna draw a line sideways and on the right side as well turn it diagonally up to that corner and the same goes to the left point diagonally up 
and we're going to do the same thing for the right side as well for the right sleeve of the vest i'm going to continue this line at the side diagonally out with a curve line turn it sideways with a curve line and downwards at that corner turn it sideways to the middle point across all the way to the left side and turn it upwards towards the pouch going back to the right side I'm gonna draw two rectangular shape at the side right here and another one below that and along the sleeve of the vest I'm gonna trace the same outline at this corner and I'm gonna trace the same outline at this lower part of the vest and at the side of the rectangular shape right there below the strap on the right side I'm gonna draw another rectangular shape right there and inside of that another long rectangular shape in the middle point at the side of it I'm gonna draw a line across and a similar line above that continue the line of the middle rectangular shape downwards at the sides on the left side of the shape I'm gonna draw a few lines across right there line downs along that space and I'm gonna copy that same set of shape again at this lower point and another one here and another one at the bottom point now for his shoulder I'm gonna draw a diagonal line out from the side of the vest semicircle turn downwards at the side turn it diagonally to the elbow point a few wavy lines across to the elbow point semicircle turn at the elbow point downwards and for the inner line of the arm I'm gonna take this point below the shoulder and draw a diagonal line out a few wavy line along the way and turn it downwards at the side of the arm right here I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards now for the strap for his lower arm I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at his outer corner and on the left side curve line across to the inner line turn it downwards and another curve line across at this lower point another strap below that slightly diagonal at the outer corner turn it down with a line at the outer point right there. continue the line of the hand all the way to his wrist and flare it out slightly at the wrist right there with a curve line semicircle line across for the sleeve of the inner shirt turn it downwards at the side and another curve line across coming out of the sleeve diagonal line on the left side for his thumb turn it downwards curve line across at the tip and turn it back up and diagonally now for his fingers I'm gonna take this point at the side of his thumb and draw a diagonal line to the left turn it downwards same as a good turn sideways to the right and at the tip of the finger at this corner I'm gonna draw a curve line across sideways to the left turn it down and turn it to the right I'm gonna copy the same shape at this point right here for the other fingers same as a good turn upwards to the wrist point at that outer corner below the knuckles I'm gonna draw across a curve line for each fingers and the thumb as well and at the outer corner of his glove I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that point now on his shoulder I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards to that point for the patterns on his sleeve I'm gonna take this point of that circular line diagonally outwards turn it down at that point diagonal turn out turn it downwards again diagonal turn out 
and downwards continue that all the way to the sleeve and I'm gonna trace that same line again at this outer corner now from the same point again at the side of that circular line I'm gonna draw a diagonal line inwards turn it downwards towards the vest and trace the same line again at this outer corner now below the vest I'm gonna continue the line of his inner shirt with a curve line down semicircle line downwards at the side there and I'm gonna do the same thing for the left side as well curve line across to the right turn it down on both ending point at the side and another similar curve line across at this lower point now below that I'm gonna copy the same set of shape again for the other piece of shirt that he have below that shirt and at the middle point of that shirt I'm gonna draw a line down at the center point all the way to the edge below and I'm gonna do a similar line at the side on the left and on the right side as well and a little bit further out I'm gonna draw another similar line downwards and this line would continue all the way up to his zipper and I'm gonna do just that all the way up to his mask right there Now at the side of his headphone on the right I'm gonna draw a tube with a curve line downwards and a similar line at the side on the right right there. Now below his shirt on the right I'm gonna draw another pouch with a curve line across at that point. Turn it downwards on the right side slightly out at the lower point and turn it inwards to the left and at the same curve line I'm gonna pick this point and draw another curve line downwards similar to the outer line extend it a bit downwards across to the left and turn it back up with the same path all the way to that curve line above on the left side of the pouch I'm gonna draw curve line downwards to that point turn it sideways to the right and turn it back upwards to that corner and I'm going to continue that line across on the left side right here turn it upwards and turn it sideways to the left and below that piece I'm going to draw a line downwards and in the middle point two lines downwards diagonally now in the middle point of his pants I'm going to draw a curved line across right there diagonal turn downwards to the right a strap at that corner to the pouch with a diagonal line right there turn it upwards another diagonal line across for the lower line of that strap and a line down at this inner corner now for the buckle of that strap I'm gonna draw a line down right there and another one at this corner below that I'm gonna draw another strap with a diagonal curve line across line down on both sides another curve line across at this lower point a buckle at this middle point of the strap and another strap crisscrossing straight across right there and alongside of the thigh right there I'm just gonna continue the line of his shorts a line across below the shorts now for the left side of the short I'm gonna draw a curve line down below the shirt a curve line across for the strap another similar curve line across at this lower point and a line down at the side a buckle with a line down at this side on the left continue the line of the short downwards semicircle line downwards below that a curve line across for the other strap and turn it upwards with a curve line another curve line across for the lower line of that strap turn it up turn it upwards at the sides 
a buckle again on the left side right here and continue the line of that leg downwards same as a turn at that corner and sideways to the left now for his knee pad on the left i'm gonna draw a curve line across for the top turn it diagonally down at the side in out and diagonally inwards at this lower point curve line across at this lower point turn it back up at the outer corner and curve it back towards the upper point on the left inside of that I'm gonna draw a curve line diagonally at the outer corner semi circle turn at this upper point and a diagonal curve line at the side turn it downwards at that point and a semi circle turn across with the curve line behind that kneecap I'm gonna draw two straps right there and below the kneecap on the left I'm gonna draw the lower leg pad with a line out from the side on the right diagonal turn to the right and down and turn it downwards a curve line across at this lower point turn it upwards at the outer corner and curve line up towards the knee pad and I'm gonna trace the right side of the knee pad at this inner corner right there and I'm gonna trace the lower line across as well behind the lower leg pad I'm gonna draw a strap with a curve line across to the back and another one below that and a line down at the side a curve line coming up above that strap semi circle turn back to the upper strap and below this I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards and turn it sideways to the lower leg pad below that I'm gonna draw another strap with a curve line to the back and another one below that and a rectangular shape at this corner on the right continue the line of the legs with a curve line downwards and for the shoe I'm gonna draw a circular shape across right there turn it downwards at this inner corner at the front point I'm gonna draw a curve line across same as could turn downwards all the way to the side below the shoe at the front point I'm gonna draw some wavy line across curve line to the right at this lower point and turn it down again to the side of the shoe below a line across in between the ending points and in front of that piece I'm gonna draw a diagonal line downwards curve line across and turn it sideways below that at the front point I'm gonna draw a diagonal line right there to the front tip of the shoe a line across turn it downwards on both sides and at the front point right there I'm gonna draw a curve line to the back diagonal turn at that point diagonal turn downwards and across to the heels turn it back upwards at the back and a line across at this upper point of the base of the shoe At the front tip of the shoe, I'm going to trace this line across, diagonal line downwards, all the way to the base. And I'm going to trace the same outline again at this point in front of the shoe. And along that space, I'm going to draw some lines across. Above the shoe, I'm going to draw across a curve line at that corner, turn it downwards to the back of the shoe and another curve line across slightly above the shoe right there and I'm just gonna extend the line of the legs all the way to his shoe now for the patterns on his shoe I'm gonna draw at the front point here a curve line across turn it down at the side sideways and turn it downwards below that a diagonal curve line from the base to the back and upwards continue that line at the back same as could turn downwards at the back right there and turn it sideways 
now for the right leg I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line down below the shorts inwards and turn it back outwards below the knee point flare it out at that point right there with a curve line on both sides a line across for the top of his lower leg pad turn it downwards on both sides and a strap at this upper point on the left side with a curve line across turn it upwards at this inner corner below the strap I'm gonna draw a curve line diagonally outwards same as you can turn inwards towards the lower leg pad below this lower leg pad I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line across turn it downwards at the side on both the left and right all the way to his ankle point same as you could turn on both sides at this lower point and a curve line across now for his shoe I'm gonna draw across a curve line turn it downwards on both sides diagonal turn inwards at this lower point and arch curve line across at that lower point trace the same outline inside of that piece a circular shape at the lower corner inside of that on both left and right on the left side of that piece I'm going to draw a line down and another line down slightly at the front point right there a line across at the ending point below and for the base of the shoe I'm going to draw a curve line across the front point right there turn it upwards and I'm going to trace the same curve line across at this upper point leave a gap in the middle point and at that gap I'm going to draw a diagonal line upwards on the left across diagonal turn back down on the right side and a curve line down on the right side right there at the front tip of the shoe I'm going to copy the same shape as the left and above the shoe I'm gonna draw at the ankle point a line down on both sides right there and at this portion right here I'm gonna draw his bandage with some diagonal curve line across along this section right here and for his left arm I'm gonna draw a similar shape of the shoulder turn it downwards at the side turn it diagonally out below the elbow point right there curve line across and for the inner line of the arm some curve line back to the side of his jacket and at this corner I'm gonna draw a line down on both sides curve line across at this lower point a rectangular shape at this outer corner of the arm and I'm going to trace the same outline at this inner point of that shape right there at the inner line of the arm I'm going to continue the line down curve line across for the top of his glove a line down on both sides another curve line at this lower point now for his thumb I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line out turn it downwards turn it sideways and all the way to the tip of the thumb circular turn upwards and back to the left with a curve line below that thumb I'm gonna draw his fingers with a line down same as a could turn sideways to the right and turn it upwards copy the same shape for the other finger and for this finger I'm gonna turn it to the left with a curve line and copy the same shape again for that finger a curve line at the side of that finger all the way back to his wrist for the patterns on his arm I'm gonna draw a similar shape as the right side now on his cap I'm gonna draw the symbol with the line down turn it sideways on both the upper point and lower point diagonal line right there 
a diagonal line again on the right side and another one and another one a line across at this point and another one at this lower point a line across again from that point and the lower point turn it upwards on the right side right there a similar line at that corner across at the lower point and the upper point and turn it downwards at the side and that's all for our tutorial today i hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful be sure to like and subscribe to this channel also feel free to drop your requests suggestions or any other comments in the comment section below see you next time